Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, this is Vasil, I hope you are doing okay. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can ask your users to review your app. Now Apple has introduced since iOS 10.3 the new uh, SK review controller that will prompt this message that you can see in the simulator for the user to review the, your app. And most importantly the users no longer need to switch the app, go to App Store and leave a review, they can review it while they're using your application. So basically they tap on a star and then they submit the review and maybe write a few words and that's it. In very quick time users can now leave reviews into our apps. Until now we had those custom pop-ups that we are creating and then we are prompting users uh, to the App Store and to our app and then leave a review. Well, we no longer need to do that. And also, since Apple introduced this on iOS 10.3, very soon they're gonna stop rejecting apps that are using the custom pop-up and they're gonna force us to use this one. But for now, you can use both uh, the, that one or the custom one. Well, before I'm going to show you how you can, uh, how you can prompt this pop-up, first I need to tell you very important things that you need to know. This pop-up will appear three times per year per user. So once a user sees this pop-up, they're not gonna see it more than three times a year. So if a user says not now three times, they're gonna get prompt a new pop-up in next year. So be careful, have a good logic on when to prompt the users to, uh, to review your app so you don't waste those three times Make sure that your logic uh, will appear after the user has seen the app, uh, how it works, and they are sure that they like it. And next thing I want to talk about is when the user will receive the pop-up, or more mostly like when they are not gonna see it. Well, now we have in the general settings an option to disable request for review from any application. So if a user has disabled that and you request uh, request them uh, this pop-up, they are not gonna see the pop-up because this is disabled. If the user has already left a review, they're not gonna see the pop-up again. So you don't have to worry about uh, checking if the user has uh, done that or not to prompt or not the pop-up. The request review does everything for you. And also, if you make a, a request to prompt this pop-up uh, recently, the, the pop-up is not gonna appear. And what I mean by recently, I'm not speaking about five minutes or 10 minutes or hours. Well, I'm speaking about months. So if you make a request review uh, today and the pop-up appears, and let's say in five minutes you do another one, well, that second one is not gonna appear. It will appear uh, when you do a request review after a month or two. Apple is not, uh, has not really specified uh, this recently exactly, but I suppose it's about months period. Don't count my word on it though. But yeah, so once you do a free, too frequently uh, request review, the pop-up is not always gonna appear. So those are the times where the user won't see the pop-up. So they disable it from the settings, they uh, saw a pop-up recently, or they pressed uh, three times not now, or they've reviewed uh, the app already. And this request review handles everything for you. You don't need to do anything. I'm gonna show you how simple it is. But another important thing that you need to know is you need to make this request uh, for the pop-up to appear after a view controller's life cycle and not the user interaction like a button. For example, if a user presses a button, don't make a request to uh, show this pop-up because it might not appear and you might lose one of your times that you have to show this request. So you will have to do it like for example view did appear or uh, a game started if you have a game application or something like this. And all you have to do is write one line of code and of course your logic of when the, view, the request should appear. So let's go and see how it's actually done. I'm gonna close this. In no view controller, you just need to import import store kit. Store kit. Now that you imported store kit, let's go and write our 
view did appear. We want it. We want to show it after the view appears. So view did appear, and we make a super view did appear. So it, so it does everything that it needs. And here we do sk story view controller dot request review. Basically, that request review will do everything for you like it will check if the user has reviewed the app if the user has seen recently uh, the request if the user has disabled uh, requests from the option if the if the user has seen uh, the request already three times all of that and also will link your app and your pop-up to the app store to leave the review so you don't have any to do anything else so let's go and run the application and we will see the view did appear will call the request review now when you call request review on any development process like debugging or enterprise builds ad hoc builds or all of those you will see every single time the review no matter how many times you call it but once it goes live in the app store you will see it only three times and all the following that i said before and also if you put it in a test flight the te in test flight is not gonna call this request review at all it will ignore it those are heads up for you to know why you're not seeing it or why you constantly see it while you are debugging and the pop-up looks something like this you have five stars the user just presses on one of the stars five and submits and maybe i don't know what happens next maybe they leave like a, a small text great app or stuff like this and done they don't have to leave the app at all and it all happens in a matter of seconds so hopefully now we will be getting even more reviews now another thing that you need to know is this is of ios 10.3 only so if the ios is less than 10.3 of your user they're not gonna receive this and if your uh, app is handling uh, ios 9 or or below all you have to do is put an available if available and this will show so if I go to my project settings and I put deployment target iOS 9 and I try to run this, it will give me an error and it will show that it's available for iOS 10.3 or newer. So if you add if version check, so if it's 10.3 request review else here maybe you want to show your custom one for now if you have one or you can just delete the else method and that's all you will request your users to review your app and hopefully you will get very good ratings in your apps and get even more downloads that is all for today guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new if you like the video don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye